Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at three different cooling products in three different price ranges to see how they work here in the desert heat. That's today's video. So I'm actually wrapping up my filming today, but I've already filmed the first two items, which I want to flash back to. First, I'm going to take a look at the inexpensive cooling spray that you're supposed to spray in your clothing and it keeps you cool. And let's see how that worked. Surge Cool Sports Cooling Spray. Hold it four inches away. Do not spray on the skin or face. Cooling effect can last longer if an outerwear is worn over the innerwear. It's good for golf, running, fishing, hiking. Cool. Literally. And that's all, that's all it is. Triple cooling reaction. It cools from evaporative cooling. Um, the power of L menthol and menthol residue. Okay. And it's supposed to last two hours. All right, here I am with my nice, crisp, clean white t-shirt. And I've got my Surge Cool Sports Cooling Spray and a bottle of regular water. Now, according to the box of the cooling spray, this makes me wonder if this, is, if this really does anything. I don't know. Now, one caveat, by the way, is I, I cannot test this in humid weather. I'm in Las Vegas where the humidity is usually under 10%. I can't test it anywhere else. So I don't know if it's going to work in humid climates, but I can tell you if it's going to work in a dry climate when I test it out right now. That being said, on the box it says that you have to hold it about four inches away from yourself, which I'll do that. Do not spray into your face. They, they even have to say that. When you put it on your underarms or places that sweat more, it's going to have more of a cooling effect. So they say. They say the cooling effect will last longer if you wear something over it. They show a guy wearing a, wearing a sports coat. Do I really want to wear a sports coat out here? Probably, probably not. At the very bottom, there's a little disclaimer that says, evaporative cooling ceases when the sprayed liquid is completely dried. We recommend respraying before complete dryness for continuing cooling effect. Won't that work with regular water too, if it's just evaporative cooling? I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna spray one half with a surge cool spray and the other half with the water and see what happens. First up, sports cooling spray. I'm gonna get my underarms too, that's right. Okay, it feels nice and cool. Has, an, has a nice menthol smell to it. Kind of nice. All right, I'm spraying pretty liberally here. Decent amount. Now for the water bottle. I'll try to spray roughly the same amount. This is not science, it's not perfect, but I'll do my best. All right, I've got the sprays on. Cooling spray and water. Let's see what happens. All right, well, let me see. It's about an equal amount of moisture on my shirt, so I'm pretty confident that I got the right amount. And it's drying at about the same rate, too. And the cooling is about the same as well. I don't, I don't feel any difference, to be honest with you. None. Zero. Don't feel any difference. Once again, maybe if it was humid, there would be a difference. In the dryness, all I'm feeling is just a wet shirt, which feels nice, but I don't need to pay for a bottle of something to do that. I can just dump some water myself. It's amazing when it's this hot and dry out here, it's already almost dry. It's only been about nine minutes. And they say to keep reapplying it. You know what I'm gonna do this time? I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna p grab something to put over it the next time I apply it and see if that works better. Because right now, I would say this first stretch of about nine minutes with the two sides, it was about equal. I don't feel much of a difference. The, the water seemed like it worked just as well for evaporative cooling. I'm going to go get something, respray, and then see what happens there. All right, I'm going to put, I'm going to use the same sides as last time. Here we go. Menthol smell. Wait, I just noticed on the side of the box, they say two hours. That was 10 minutes. Not two hours in this heat. Maybe somewhere else. All right, what do you guys think about the full ensemble here? In fact, let me get back. Let me show you what the whole look is like here. Now I'm talking. I am all set for summertime. I'm not sure if this jacket quite matches my shorts. I'm not sure about that. What do you think? Yeah, no? It still doesn't feel any cooler on the left and the right. Maybe it feels, you know what? Maybe it does feel a little bit cooler. I'm trying to decide if it feels cooler on the left than on the right. It's pretty close. No, it doesn't feel cooler. No. It, do, it just feels wet. It doesn't feel cooler. 
I'm not really sure. I'm starting to feel like it's a bit gimmicky. It feels like this might be a little bit gimmicky. Like it was what, $13, something like that. I'll put the price in the description below, but this is certainly a lot cheaper. I just fill it up out of my sink and the results are negligible if any difference at all. So yeah, I'm, I'm not really that impressed by the cooling spray. I, I want to like it. I just don't feel like it. in this dry climate, maybe in the humidity it's different, but in this dry climate, I don't feel like it does anything that just regular water doesn't do. Sorry. Good thing I'm trying three items out now because I've got more to do. There are moments that actually I, th I start to wonder if maybe it's cooler on that side than the other side, but it's not so stark that I'm just like blown away by it. It's sometimes like maybe it's cooler, but no, not really. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think it's different enough for me to really recommend this. It, the, the water side seems about the same. I tried. So I'm still a little bit on the fence about the cooling spray. I might need to do one more test before I wrap this thing up. But let's head into the second item now, which is a next gen neck fan that has a cooling plate and fans on it. I tried that out sitting in my hot car and uh, here's how that went. I've got an hour to kill on my car, so that'd be a good chance for me to try out this, which is supposed to be a next gen neck fan kind of a next gen version of this, which I did last year. This one is a little bit different. Um, I've already charged it up, have not used it yet. It has a fan like, a, like the other one does, but it also has this metal plate right here, which supposedly has some sort of electronic attachment to it that's gonna keep it cool. We shall see. What's kind of nice about this one is there's something oddly satisfying about the way that folds out to me. I don't know what it is, but it can adjust to a pretty much any size neck. Now, obviously, when a piece of metal is first going to touch your skin, it's going to feel cool. But how it holds up over time is another story. Right now in my car, it's a cool 83 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I'm going to do now is turn the air off of my car and it's not cool outside. And as it gets warmer in here, hopefully this amazing $60 neck fan will help me stay cool. Let's try it. There are two buttons on here. I believe one for the fan and one for, I believe, the metal plate. So let me hold this down. Okay, the fan is, the fan's going. And there's an indicator, if you can see that it's blue, means it's on. And I'm gonna try holding the other one down. All right, they're both lit. They're both lit up blue. This cycles through different speeds. I'm gonna just put it on low right now. Here we go. The metal is quite cold on my neck, but metal would be cold right away. Let's see if it stays cold. You can turn it towards you. Oh yeah. It's cool back here and I got the fan going. Now I've turned my car off and I expect it to start getting warmer in here pretty soon. It's already starting to feel kind of toasty in here. It's currently 109 degrees in Las Vegas. Not overly cool. I wouldn't say we're having a cool spell right now. All right, so I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna sit here while it gets hot in my car and hope that this keeps me cool. I'm actually gonna say it feels nice right now, but I'm not sure I'm gonna leave the car off the entire time. I'll leave it off until I start feeling uncomfortable. Right now, I feel comfortable. Between the coldness on my neck, which is, it's still cold, and the fans blowing in my face, it's, it's not unpleasant. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna sit here and listen to some music for a little while uh, and watch the thermometer and see how warm it gets in here. And then I'll, I'll check back with you in a little bit and let you know how it's going. <sighs> I guess I, it's my responsibility to turn the camera off, right? All right. All right, I've got a little update after about, it's been about 15 minutes. Uh, it's it's also starting to get pretty stuffy in here, and uh, it's the temperature's rising. And here's my update. So number one, right now, as it gets hotter in here, I'm just feeling warm air blowing across my face. It's I guess it's better than dead air, but not much. And number two, and and the less pleasant of the two things I have to report is that that metal plate. It's actually very cool, so that's a good thing. But it's it's very wet. It's like sweaty. It's wet. It's not pleasant. It doesn't feel good. Just imagine holding a piece of metal against your skin for a long period of time. Uh, it's, it's, it's very wet. I don't think you want to use the word moist. That's even worse. But I, whatever word for wet you want to use, it's wet. And I don't really like that wet feeling back there. So I'm going to let it get a little bit warmer in here before I uh, decide what I think about this. Although that plate is the best and the worst feature. But let me, let me try a few more minutes of this. Let me let it get a little bit warmer. And I'll check back one more time. Uh, this is about where I throw in the towel. It, it's getting pretty warm in here. Now let me, before I do that though, let me turn this off. 
now that I've turned that off and there's complete dead air in here, I will say that's better than nothing. So I'm gonna put it back on while I finish up talking. The metal plate is cool to touch. It, it's cool to touch. So it stays cool the entire time. These fans just kind of blow hot air though. It's better than nothing. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna bash it too much. Um, it's better than nothing. I kind of wish there was some sort of a cooling effect of these fans. That would be amazing. Right now, it's kind of like my neck is cool, but the fans are kind of warm, so it's like, I don't know. I would say it's better than this, I think. Let me just put this on real quick and compare. Wow, there's no circulation in this car. It's already two degrees warmer since I started talking two minutes ago. It's getting warm in here. You know what, these fans are bigger though. Even though this doesn't have the metal plate, it kind of compensates for it with the more adjustable fan that's larger. So I guess they both have their, their strengths and weaknesses, but I can see why it's more expensive because it's more high tech, but there's only so much that a fan can really do. And that metal plate, it, it keeps your neck cool and a strip that big. Is that really worth it? I don't know. Hey, this is the way to go. You got the double decker. Now we're talking. This wouldn't raise any eyebrows going out in public now, would it? Maybe not. So I've actually been using that neck fan since that at first test, and I've kind of gotten past the the fact that it gets sweaty and I actually kind of like that cooling plate back there. I'm not sure if it's it's a comprehensive solution, but it is nicer than just having a fan because that cooling plate does stay cool for several hours. The third item I'm taking a look at today, I'm actually wearing right now. This is the Flexi Freeze Ice Vest. This cost me 105 bucks and it's the most expensive of the three items I got today. Before I get into it, let me flash back to my unboxing and then put it on a few moments ago. I'm right, gonna take a closer look at this. If you open it up here, inside is a package with the three panels. These are gonna go in the freezer and have three panels of ice inside the vest. So uh, let me put it in the freezer and see how it does. All right, see how this goes. All right, you gotta lay this thing out. Kinda like, kinda like that. Now the ice comes in uh, this nice holder and it is frozen. It's been in my freezer for a week. Nice and frozen. Freeze panel solid before use. That is definitely the case. Wear over a layer of clothing. I will be doing that. So just gotta line up the Velcro and just slap it on. It looks like some weird solar panel or something, doesn't it? Very interesting. It's time to put this bad boy on. All right, I've just got a white generic cotton t-shirt. They say to have an item of clothing underneath. So I did practice putting on the vest without the ice on last night and it was a little bit awkward, but I wanted to practice the vest itself. I haven't tried it with the ice yet, so let's do it. Oh, I feel cold. Oh, it feels cold. Not too cold, but cold. Now the instructions say to put it tight against your skin. Wow, that's actually nice and cool. It's not too cold, but it's pretty cool. That instantly, my body temperature just instantly felt like it dropped. And they, they do say that you're supposed to keep it as snug as possible. This is pretty tight. I did take it out of my freezer about 15 minutes ago. I mean, if you're gonna be going somewhere to work, you're gonna have to transport it. So they, it's supposed to last one to three hours. We shall see. All right, well, I guess, the, I guess the countdown begins. I might need to adjust these a little bit. This doesn't feel real tight. It's a bit awkward to put on, but once you get it on, I mean, I don't feel hot at all. Not at all. Uh, in, my, in my monitor here, it looks either like I'm a Walmart employee or I have a bulletproof vest on. And neither one of those are a look I'm really going for, but I just sat in something sticky here at the park. So that's just the way it goes, I guess. So at this point, now that I've got it on for about 10 minutes, it, it feels, it's pretty cold. Um, the one thing I did notice is that the ice packets are just water. There's no gel. I don't know if that's a plus or a minus. I did read over all the comments on Amazon about the ice vest to see what people were saying about it. Some people said that uh, it definitely didn't last as long as they wanted, so people were buying multiple inserts. I guess you would have to just keep those in, in, in an ice chest or something like that if you're going to replace them throughout the day. If, you, if you're someone who works outside, the, the instructions say that they last one to three hours, so I'm going to... I'm guessing that in the Las Vegas desert heat in July, it's gonna be on the low end of that scale, but we shall see. They also say that it keeps your arms free to stay active. I guess I, I need to test that out as well. So I think I'm gonna call my son Brandon and uh, meet him at a different park because there's nowhere to move around here. And you know, throw the Frisbee around and see how it works in this ice vest. And by the way, the, uh, the ice vest has been out of my freezer for 30 minutes now and I can already feel that it's, 
the packets are starting to, to melt a little bit. It's not very long, but I guess an hour is the minimum amount of time. I'm, I, may, I may only get that. Call him, Brandon. Hello. Hey. Hi. You want to uh, throw the Frisbee around? Yeah. All right, so I gotta drive to a different park where we can have some fun with the Frisbee. Give this ice vest a workout in the desert heat, in the sun, and maybe I'll try the other ones out before I wrap this thing up as well. Let's go. All right, Brandon is gonna join me for this part of the test. I, by the way, on the way here, when I was sitting in my car and my back went up against the seat, this ice vest made me almost cold in my car. Oh. And it is 100 degrees outside right now. I'm, I'm actually nice and cool out here. I don't know about you. But you know, you need, you need some cooling products here. I do, I'm feeling a little left out right now. He needs some cooling products and I've got some for him. How about a, a next gen neck fan? Sounds good. I don't think the fan's gonna be very helpful in the wind, but maybe the, the electrostatic neck plate will. All right, there you go. Yeah, how's that neck plate feel? Very nice, nice and cool. Is it like a, a nice cool neck plate? I think you like saying neck plate. I do like saying neck plate. It's a great, it just rolls off the tongue, neck plate. But we've got more to go though. How about some nice cooling spray? on your nice white shirt. All right. Get that hair up there. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Kind of smells like sunscreen. It, do it does kind of smell like sunscreen here. Thank you. All right, oh wait. You need to put a, uh, something over that to keep the cooling sensation in. So th this is what they showed in on the packaging. A, a sports coat. <laughs> yeah. Put it on here. There you go. Ridiculous. Oh, we're not done yet. <laughs> oh, no. we're, yeah, we're not. We're not done. I mean, guinea pig. How, today. how about the Arctic hat? Because <laughs> you, you need a hat out here when you're playing frisbee. Now the Arctic hat shrunk for me, but your head's smaller than mine, so it should fit you perfectly. Oh no. Oh, an ice cube just fell in there. There we go. Now you're set. Looking good. You are ready to play Frisbee in nice coolness, aren't you? Yeah. All right, I got my ice vest on. We really were set. Let's go. Let's go do it. Uh, the neck, neck fan keeps falling off while he's running around, so I think the neck fan's got to go. Neck fan has to go? Yeah, I think so. Right. How cool is the cooling spray so far? I still feel kind of cool. Oh, good. I can feel this is starting to melt. It's starting to melt, but it's still cool, but it's starting to melt. Well, let's keep going. All right. All right. All right, we had fun out there. Yeah, it was, it was different. I, I forgot how bad I am at throwing the Frisbee though. Yeah, I'm worse though. Well, my catching is actually not bad, but my throwing is pretty bad. <laughs> so anyways, Brandon, now that we've been out, I mean, what was it, about 15 minutes out there? Yeah, about 15 minutes, I'd say. So how's the cooling spray holding up? It's all gone, it's all evaporated. 15, that's about how I was. It did not last long at all in the, in the dry air. I'm thinking in humid areas it might last longer. What about the smell, do you smell it? No, I don't smell it anymore. Okay, good, I, I kind of had a problem with it after a while, the smell kind of bothered me, but... I think it's kind of windy outside, so that oh, that's probably true. helps, too. That's true. It's windy, so he doesn't smell it. If you sit inside, you might smell after a while. How about the neck fan? How's that doing for you? Neck fan's pretty good. When I was running around and stuff, it was falling off, but I also didn't have it completely tightened around my neck, so that might have something to yeah. do with it. Really, in the wind, you're not going to notice the fan on your face, but how about the neck plate in the back, though? That, that That's the first thing I can notice this whole time. Like yeah. everything else might have been cool, but my all my attention went to the stuff in the back here on yeah. the neck fan. And the classic Arctic hat, what do you think? That's all evaporated too. Is There's it really? no wet spots on the hat. <laughs> yeah, the dry air is not nice to these evaporative cooling products. Now I should also say the ice vest, um, it's it's almost it's it's still slightly cool, but I can tell the ice is completely melted. So it's just cold water in there now. I don't think yeah. I have much time left, so it lasted Maybe an hour and 20 minutes, I want to say. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> it, is a, it is about 103 out right now. All right, so I think I've got enough information to go home and wrap this thing up. All right, let's go. Let's go.
All right, I'm finally back home now after a couple hours out in the heat. It wasn't that bad though because I had my cooling products. But let me recap the products that I reviewed here. First up is the cooling spray. Now I will say that the cooling spray did seem to last longer when I had the jacket on, which was ridiculous by the way, but the water lasted longer as well. So I'm not sure that really makes much of a difference. Even if there were a slight improvement over water, I mean, it's a lot more expensive. First of all, this little bottle was like, I think 14 or $15. And it has a smell that it's pleasant at first, but eventually that smell kind of got to me. When I went inside after my first test and sat at my desk for a while, I was kind of ready for that smell to be gone. I ended up taking a shower because I took my shirt off and the smell had gotten on my skin. So it just, I'm not sure it's really necessary. Now when Brandon used it, he didn't really notice the smell because we were outside and it was windy. I think he changed his shirt when he got in so he didn't really have the, the lingering odor that I had to deal with when I used it. So in the end, I don't think it's better than just spraying yourself with water. So next up is the next gen neck fan with a cooling neck plate. Now I think 60 bucks is a bit much for this, maybe, maybe 40. I mean, the fans don't seem like they're as good as the original. Uh, this is definitely an improvement over the original because it doesn't have anything like this. I think that a lot of people would like this. I, I like the adjustments of it too. It, it, it feels really sturdy, really well made. I just think a lot of people are gonna think 60 might be a little bit high for this one. Although I do think if you get it, you probably like it. Once you get past the, uh, the idea of having a sweat on your neck like that. And finally the ice vest, which these are all melted now. Um, it's kind of expensive. I think I paid 105 bucks for it. There is a zipper version that I think is $5 cheaper, but a lot of people were saying the zipper was problematic. So I went with the, the Velcro option. It, it definitely keeps you cool. I was outside for almost two hours in this and not once did I really feel like I was getting overheated at all. So I think it worked in that respect. My, also, my arms were, were free. I, I played Frisbee. I, I moved around. I never felt restricted. In fact, I think Brandon was more restricted in that suit jacket than I was in my ice vest. You can buy additional inserts. I think another set of inserts that will be three total is about 40 bucks. People in the comments were saying that, that they worked outside. They would have three, uh, three sets of them that would last the entire day. That starts to get kind of expensive, but if you work outside, it might be worth it to, to make the investment in something like that. I suppose you could just wet your shirt over and over again. That might not be practical for some people, and water is also not gonna last as long as these ice cubes in the vest will take to melt. I do think that the ice vest works quite well. It's kind of expensive, but those who get it, I think will really like it. Well, that's it. I wanna thank my son, Brandon, for helping me out for his part of the review. And I really enjoyed these, but I do think the ice vest is definitely the best of these three. Uh, none are perfect, but I think that those who get the neck fan and the ice vest will probably like them. The cooling spray, I'd probably pass on. If you guys use something like this, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.